Good morning. Welcome this morning to prayers that light our path. You know, I'm busy with people and everybody seems to be rushed trying to buy that last Christmas gift. Getting ready for Christmas morning for when their children or their grandchildren and all the excitement get up and gather around the Christmas tree and open those presents to see what Santa Claus has brought them. You know, I understand that excitement. I still have that excitement today. <clears throat> My excitement though I think is more because I have a greater understanding of that great gift that God gave to me on that Christmas morning so many years ago. That gift of His Son. Born to us as a mere little baby so vulnerable, so subject to the sins of the world. But God sent him so that my salvation could be assured. What a wonderful gift it is. And in this period of Advent, when we so joyous, joyfully, joyfully look forward to the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you know, the Bible tells us in Titus 3, 5, not by the works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy, He saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. What a wonderful gift. I'm so grateful every day that I serve a God who was born as a human like us, that proved who He was through His good deeds, through His works, His miracles, His acts of mercy, was crucified. And today we can joyously say that we serve a risen Savior one that's always with us by virtue of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, for those blessings. Thank you for that gift. And thank you for the promise of our eternal salvation. Go with me this morning in prayer. Father, salvation cannot be earned. Grace cannot be demanded as payment for what we do in our service to you. No matter how we strive to live in righteousness, we will always fall short of the standards that you have set for us. You know this, Father. Otherwise, you would have never sent your Son for the salvation of all of us who claims his name. But you did send him. And you sent the Holy Ghost. And it's with us today because of our neediness. Father, thank you for making our perfection possible in this life to come by ourselves. We would certainly fail. But Father, with you, anything is possible. Thank you, Father, for your blessing. We ask this morning that you continue to bless us and you bless those who maybe aren't as fortunate as some of the others. <clears throat> Father, we ask that you be with those who are sick. Wrap your arms around them. Heal them. Give them the strength to transcend this period of time. Thank you, Jesus. And in your name this morning we pray. Amen. As you go through the day today, reach out to all those who maybe aren't as fortunate as some of the others. Reach out to those who are sick. Reach out to those who have lost their way. Reach out to those who are non-believers. Let them see Jesus Christ through your testimony let them see through Jesus Christ through your actions and let them hear the words of our Heavenly Father through your voice. 
Always remember God loves you. I love you. And the people of the United Methodist Church love you. Have a safe, glorious, and wonderful day.